Hello, I'm Toby Hickman. We're in my shop and we're going to do a, this video about using power hammers both with the dies alone and with handheld tools. We're going to make a set of box jaw tongs which will allow us to use several sets of skills and several different kinds of tools. The box jaw tong consists of several parts. The jaw, the bit, the boss, and the reins. Because we have the power of a power hammer, we have the ability to manipulate pieces of steel that are larger than we would normally pick up to work by hand. Therefore, since I have this wonderful piece of 4140, by calculating the volume of my set of tongs, I can determine how much of this bar I need to use to make a pair of tongs. By understanding that what we manipulate as blacksmiths is the volume of a piece of steel. I often think of the steel as an unbreakable bag full of goo. And my job is to push the goo into the right place so that when the steel stops being hot, it becomes the part. In order to make a pair of tongs, I need tong stock. So the first operation will be to convert this round bar into this 3 8 by 7 8 flat bar. So in order to use this bar of steel, I need to know the volume of the various parts of my tongs. I can calculate that by using their length, width, and height. Then I can determine how much of this bar contains that same volume. Therefore, if I cut this bar off at the right length, I will have enough material to make my tongs.
deep enough so that you are slightly less than the material you are going to use in the tongs. So if it's a half inch, you want to go three eighths. If it's a quarter inch, you want to go three sixteenths. It's some time later, our tongs are cooled. We allowed them to air cool because they're made from 4140. We did not quench them because 4140 is a medium carbon steel and will harden when quenched. We've now put the tongs together with a bolt and nut. You can see that they're almost right, but still need a little bit more adjustment. We will do this hot. When we have it right, we'll remove the bolt and nut and replace it with the rivet, set the rivet. One more quick adjustment for anything that went wrong during the riveting. A heat to loosen the rivet and we're done. Adjust them vertically. And horizontally put something in between the reins and squeeze the reins so that they'll be a good hand distance apart as you can see this one needs to move out a little bit so we're going to put a bending fork on it or even a torch heat and move it over so what we're looking for is for the bar to describe the center of the tongs all the way across. 